Jim Hutchinson with the Fisherman Magazine here at Uches Marina in Cape May aboard Captain Bob Cope's Full Ahead Sport Fishing. You know, we had a great day with the gang from Mustad and from Tackle Direct trying out some new gear, some of the new Ocean Tackle International jigs, and also some nice slow pitch rods from Mustad. Now, we were black sea bass fishing, and with the folks from Mustang using the, the assist hooks, I got Chris Gatley's gonna tell us all about it, but in addition to black sea bass on these rods and these outfits, we had a couple of big surprises. One especially big one. So the Mustad Alpha Points are new starting this past summer. Uh, we launched them at ICAST under the Mustad family of hooks. Um, they started shipping here in October, actually uh, about two weeks ago, 10 days ago, they started to arrive uh, at certain stores. Um, there's a various styles of hooks. There's jigging assist hooks, which we actually have out today in front of us. Um, there's small sea bass styles. There's single hooks. There's double hooks. We have tuna styles, all different kinds of styles of hooks for your jig fishing. Um, we call them assist hooks. Um, but today, like I said, we're, we're dropping jigs such as this jig with the assist hooks for sea bass. Um, the big thing about these hooks and why they're different than any of the other Mustad hooks we have is we call it Alpha Point. You're probably familiar with the green and white packages called Ultra Point. The major difference is the angle in which we go from the barb of the hook to the point. The ultra points in that white and green packaging, like the demon circles, things of that nature, have a 26 degree angle going towards that hook point. Whereas the alpha points have a 21 degree angle. If you're also familiar with the Mustad brand, you're gonna notice on the ultra point hook package, it's gonna say 4.3. The alpha points are gonna be a 4.8. So it's denoted down here at the bottom where it says 4.8. What that means is this hook point from the beginning of the barb to the point is 4.8 times the diameter of the hook shank or the, uh, the thickness of the, of the metal, so to speak. Whereas the ultra point's a 4.3. So you're not gonna have as long a point, which means you're gonna have that 26 degree angle versus a 21 degree angle on the 4.8. In basic layman's terms, you're gonna have a better needle with the Alpha Series. So you, where it hits home. Uh, maybe you're a fly fisherman for trout, dry flying, and you're a little late on that rise and hook set. Hook set. Even if you just get them maybe 30% of the hook set, you might get them, whereas before they would have spit the hook or they would have beaten you. Um, in this case with the jig, today we're in, I don't even know how rough it is. I think it was blowing 20, 25 last night. Um, it's definitely not the nicest of weather and we're missing a lot of fish because you're up, you're down. And these assist hooks are definitely helping us stick those sea bass a little bit better than I think other traditional hooks would have been. Um, that's pretty much the, the Alpha Point by Mustad assist hooks. You can find them at TackleDirect.com or any local retailer. And we have them for sea bass all the way up to the biggest of tuna. Okay, one of the other new style of hooks that Mustad came out with is the Alpha Point Infiltrator. So the Infiltrator comes, it's just basically a swim bait hook. It comes with a, a corkscrew. Some of them have lead here, so if you wanna have a weighted version, you can. Um, I just took this NLBN bait just because it's popular. Now I've been up and down the coast, so I kind of tore the front of this out. But the neat feature about this hook is that it's got two entry points on the helix, if that's what you want to call it. So you essentially put it in, the two pieces grab, it's two twists and turn, and it's instantly locked in, and it self-corrects itself as it's going in. So you don't have one entry point and then it's off center, you gotta undo it, you gotta undo it, and the next thing you know, you get a bait that's all chewed up, kinda like this. Now, I've probably been in about 60 stores in the past 30 or 40 days, and this bait's just shot, but you can actually see that that hook has, it's, it's just perfect for this, this NLBN, and this happens to be a seven inch, I think, yeah, seven inch mullet. So, what I was saying to in that other video about the assault hooks is if that big striper comes up and hits this or redfish or whatever you're fishing for hits it and drops that bait down, you have plenty of, of gap to hook that fish in the mouth and set it in that corner. So the infiltrator series is actually really unique because it offers that wide gap, but at the same time, it's got that self-correction uh, corkscrew, so to speak, or helix, I call it a helix, um, and you can get them weighted or unweighted. So if you are fishing big swim baits, 
any of this stuff, um, our infiltrator series is perfect for it. There it is. Does it feel like a striper, does it? So there we were, 15, 20 miles off of Cape Maine, about 130 feet of water, loading up on black sea bass and porgies. And as Chris is showing us the full product lineup for 2023 from Mustad, I look over and Fred Haas <laughs> from Tackle Direct is tied into something big. Rod buckled over, 15, 20, 30 minutes goes by. We start taking bets. Is it a monkfish? Is it a giant striper or redfish from offshore? After an hour, we finally got a look at this thing. A 150 pound estimated sand tiger shark, vertical, up and down battle the entire time on one of those OTI jigs with a tiny little mustad assister. The greatest thing about saltwater fishing, you never know what you're gonna catch until you put a hook in the water. How far are we out? So we just released that 150 pound shark that we were trying to catch sea bass with on that jig. Uh, Fred from Tackle Direct actually caught it on this exact hook size and believe it or not, solid ring size. He actually had two hooks. He bought, he had the double assist hook, so it's really two of these hooks, but this is the actual size that withstood the release of that 150 pound shark. It's just truly amazing. That's the Mustad Alpha Point.